A common um, consequence of stroke is cognitive deficits, and um, for a, a, a significant consequence of these deficits is reduced quality of life and, and potentially even the sort of the loss of independence. My interest stems really from looking at different uh, types of exercise interventions after stroke and we've evaluated exercise for improving cardiovascular fitness after stroke which is really important since we know many of our uh, patients with stroke have heart disease. We've looked at improving balance and bone density which is also important because we know these individuals fall and fracture and break bones um, often. And so this is really an extension of our work to look at that exercise may have even wider implications than we thought on the brain and thinking and memory abilities. So this was a project in which we were um, called Getting On With Your Rest of Your Life uh, and uh, it had both a physical function exercise program with it as well as a leisure function and uh, we had it in the community and our purpose was to look at um, the ability for people to get back into society, what we call community reintegration. Uh, but in addition, uh, we were particularly interested in looking at the um, cognitive outcomes, so how does one's thinking and memory and how are they impacted by uh, leisure activities and exercise. I think ultimately we aim to improve again the quality of life of stroke survivors and um, in particular um, I guess the chronic stroke survivors who has completed their formal rehabilitation but really still could benefit from continual um, community-based um, strategies that can again promote their quality of life. Well said. <laughs> okay. I, I think uh, we are still discovering much about what can optimize um, the recovery and function after a stroke. Uh, and there's still much to be learned about what types of doses, what types of exercise, what type of activities um, may improve uh, people's functioning, whether it be mental functioning or uh, physical functioning. So I think we're really at the point where we're starting to understand, better understand the exact types and can make recommendation to patients and survivors with stroke. We really certainly thank all the donors who give so generously to make this research work uh, and for us to be able to explore research questions and solve research problems that can improve the lives of people after a stroke. I agree, absolutely.